if I had to name one positive outcome from 2020, it's that working from home has motivated me to finally create a desk setup. With the help of my wife, I was able to put together a setup that is affordable and looks minimal. What's up YouTube? If you're new to the channel, my name is Chaos. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe down below. Other than that, let's jump into my 2020 desk setup. So during the week, I use this setup most of the time to work from home during quarantine. Uh, when I'm not working, I like to use this space to edit my YouTube videos, uh, just surf the web, maybe watch Netflix and play video games. The main design aspect of this space is black and white and minimal. This is a very small room, so I tried to do the most I could with a small space. So starting off with the desk, I purchased it from Ikea and the name of it is Karsta Desk. The height of the desk is able to be adjusted and it raises from about 27 inches to about 47 inches. One caveat with this desk is although it is adjustable, it is a crank adjustable desk and not electric. Electric desks are really popular at the moment, and but they can cost upward of $400. It's hard to find one that's kind of in a cheaper range. Uh, this desk was $239, so that's why I chose it. I don't have any issues with raising it with the crank. You do kind of get like a little workout or an exercise with your arm, and it might take like 30 seconds or so at least to get to my height. I'm about 6'4", so I kind of want it at the max height. But other than that, I don't have any issues with it. Uh, electric desk would be really cool, but $239 was a really hard price to beat. The tabletop is that cheap IKEA fake wood material, but it should hold up as long as you take good care of it. I've had it for about two months and it doesn't show any signs of wear. Moving on to things that are sitting on top of the desk, starting off with this lamp right here. I think we've had this lamp for probably about five years and before I had it in this office, it was in our living room downstairs and I don't even think we had a light in it. It was just sitting there as decor and it went with my black and white setup. So I decided to bring it up here. I purchased a Philips Hue ambience light to go inside the lamp to add some color into the room and to change it based on my mood. To reduce cables under the desk, I went with a regular phone stand instead of a wireless charger. This phone stand is made by Lamacall and I purchased it on Amazon. The phone stand is very durable and adjustable and allows me to see notifications on my phone easily. Moving on to the monitor, this bright thing right here, man, this is really the eye candy for me. I purchased the LG 27 inch 4K UHD monitor. Now this particular model is the 2018 version. I was initially intrigued by it due to its USB type C connectivity, uh, but its display and its features have really kept me glued to this space. It has HDR10 support, an almost borderless display, and a dedicated gaming mode that supports 60 frames per second. With the USB type C connectivity, I'm able to connect my work and my personal computer to it, and it allows a 4K display, and at the same time, it charges the devices. The monitor does come with its own stand, but I decided to switch it up and go with a mount up desk mount. I purchased this on Amazon and the reason I really like it is because it gives a lot of real estate to my desk versus having a stand on it that kind of takes up that space and it gives the monitor a nice floating effect. The height is adjustable and it has an arm that's able to swing out and you can mount it on your desk with a clamp that's underneath. Moving on to my personal laptop, it is a 2018 13 inch MacBook Pro. It has the 2.3 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i5 processor, ooh, that's a mouthful, with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, this is my first laptop that I ever purchased um, and it, with its initial release in 2018. This particular model gets a lot of negative feedback because of its butterfly keyboard, but coming from someone who didn't use any of the previous Macs, I don't really have any issues with it. Even though it has the entry level i5 processor, I find using it to edit 4K videos with Final Cut Pro works pretty good. On top of the MacBook, I have a dbrand matte black skin, and I've had it on there pretty much since I purchased the laptop. I just use it to protect it from any scratches and to have a different look than the space gray that it comes in. I have my laptop sitting on the Soup Mega laptop stand with a two-in-one design. 
When standing up, it helps alleviate space on the desk. And when it's down, I'm able to raise the display on the MacBook and have a dual display if I need it. Two more accessories that I like to use with my MacBook Pro. The first one is a Samsung portable SSD T5. It has one terabyte of external storage. It's fast enough that I'm able to edit directly off of it when I'm in Final Cut Pro. And my other one is a USB-C hub. Uh, this one is made by Dodo Cool. I think that's how you pronounce it. It has two USB-C ports, uh, two USB 3.0 ports, a micro SD slot and a regular SD slot and a HDMI port. Moving on to peripherals, my keyboard is the Keychron K4 Mechanical Keyboard. I first heard about it from watching MKBHD videos. Uh, if you know about mechanical keyboards, then you know they can be really loud. But my favorite things about it is that you're able to connect three devices via Bluetooth. It's compatible with Mac and PC. Uh, it's backlit with a white LED light and I just like the overall aesthetic to it. My mouse is the Logitech MX Anywhere 2S mouse. This mouse is very popular in the tech world. Uh, I like it because it has hyper fast scrolling and mappable buttons. Uh, it's very responsive when you're scrolling with it and I think it pairs well with the keyboard. I have them both sitting on a Satechi desk mat. Uh, it's 23 by 12 inches and it is leather material. I really just bought it to complement the desk and create a contrast from the white top. Now this wouldn't be a YouTube desk setup video without having an Alex drawer from Ikea. Instead of having my tabletop resting on two Alex drawers, I just have one off to the side. And I can see why it's so popular. I love the minimal look of it. It's very affordable and it offers plenty of storage. I use it to store my laptops, my phone accessories, camera equipment, and my video game. So up until about a month ago, I had my gaming console in the living room, but since this monitor offers HDR10 support, 60 frames per second gaming, and free sync for optimal performance, I decided to hook up my game to the monitor. And man, I have not been disappointed. My system is a PS4 Pro and I have it hidden inside this drawer. And when I'm not using it, I leave the drawer closed. When I am using it, I like to open the drawer so that the PS4 Pro can breathe. Bringing the PS4 Pro to this space has honestly brought so much enjoyment to it and I find myself just downloading games that I haven't played just to enjoy the monitor and how it looks. And you already know I'm so excited for that PS5 later this year. So as of right now, I don't have any external speakers on my desk. Uh, the main reason is to save space, but I'm not opposed to adding some once I find the right match. The speaker on the monitor is loud, but it's really average. So to enhance the sound, I have my Bose QC2 Bluetooth headphones hanging on the Elevation Lab anchor mount under the desk. I purchased it on Amazon and it comes with 3M adhesive, so I was able to just stick it right up under the desk. And I really like it. It makes my headphones easily accessible and again, alleviating space on top of the desk. I also have a Google Mini in this room. I often like to play music in the background to help me focus while I'm working. Moving on to some last few accessories. Uh, these shelves right here are from Ikea. Uh, they are called mom back shelves, really inexpensive. And this one right here is called Beck Schultz. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I just bought it to add some aesthetic around the desk. Uh, I use these to display some pictures from previous vacations that me and my wife have taken. And I use this one to display my Mavic mini drone, my Nikon camera, and a couple of basketball books and a plant. There's still more decorating I would like to do in here, but I've been really careful to try not to add too much because I really just wanted to have a minimal vibe to it. Uh, but one thing that I haven't hung up yet is this poster of Michael Jordan. I've had this since I was a little kid and uh, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna put it in here. On top of the Alex drawer, you'll see a model of a Kawasaki Ninja H2R. It's one of my favorite motorcycles. If you don't know a lot about me, I have been riding motorcycles for about 11 years and I currently have a Kawasaki Ninja. Then I have a charger for my two PS4 controllers and a little plant that my wife got me from Trader Joe's. My chair is a Hibeda ergonomic desk chair. It's black and white matching my desk aesthetic and it's very comfortable to sit in. If you're interested in it, I did do a review on the chair, so check out my previous video. 
that wraps up my desk setup. Uh, I will link everything down below. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more upcoming content. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.